Hey YouTube versus Charlie, this is gonna be my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode six WTF video. We finally found out who Lash is. It's a bit of a WTF, even though it was somewhat predicted. They did a pretty good job of seeding clues, and it's a big change from the comics. So just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. Let's do the craziest stuff first and then work our way down. So starting with number five, Andrew is Lash. So I was in the middle of making my Flash video Tuesday night when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was airing and people started tweeting at me about Andrew being Lash. I was actually really surprised Sometimes, even if a story is telling you one thing, the writers will take it in a different direction. So love or hate the change from the comics. Like in the comics, Andrew is not Lash. Lash is a completely different character on a completely different type of mission. What they're doing seems very similar. Like Lash in the comics goes around killing a bunch of new Inhumans. TV show Lash doing the exact same thing, but their motivation is completely different. So I will give the writers a hat tip for staying true to their own story. I know that they always like to do comic book stuff whenever they can, but the big twists always need to be in service of the story, not, not so much paying off comic books. So they've been teasing Rosalind as a frenemy that Skye hates when she's really trusting of Andrew. So now she's going to have to learn to trust Rosalind, who's probably going to end up helping them deal with their lash problem. Conflict inside the group is the name of the game. It's just like the ward twist during season one. Wolf in the Hen House. They actually twisted that phrase in a funny way for a season two episode where Mockingbird was secretly inside Hydra. I think it was like Hen in the Wolf House or something like that. And one of the other big reasons that I thought that Andrew might be Lash was just lack of evidence for other characters being Lash. Like it was too obvious. Like they were trying to make Rosalind seem like too much of an antagonist when really she has so much chemistry with Coulson that of course they're going to be working together. Andrew has zero chemistry with May, even though they were supposed to have been married. So maybe they play those scenes like that on purpose. They want you to feel uneasy about him. Even though he's the psychiatrist, he's supposed to make everybody feel better about themselves. And like that ward twist, like you learn to anticipate things like that. So you guys can let me know though. Like, do, I mean, do you like Andrew as Lash? I feel like it's a really interesting twist for his character. Now he's interesting. He wasn't really that interesting before. Speaking of which, on to number four. Andrew is trying to go after Lincoln. And not just Lincoln specifically, just to be clear, he's trying to get rid of all those new Inhumans. My thought is, is that he feels like he is helping. Like all these Inhumans are causing all this trouble. Rosalind's group has their way of dealing with it. Lash has his way of dealing with it. Or I should say Andrew. You can still call him Lash. You can call him Andrew or Lash either way. But he's still that guy that was married to May. So like there's this internal conflict going on inside him that I think that they're going to flesh out in future episodes. I think they're going to pick that up next week. I mean, just like look at this picture here. Now, obviously, the person that plays Lash is a different actor that they, they put in the makeup just because he grows so big. But I just love this Notice Me Senpai picture. It's kind of like the Hulk. There's two different personas. There's the Hulk and then there's Bruce Banner. Two different minds sharing the same body. That's actually something you guys should get really hype about in the next Thor movie. Because even if it didn't come across during Avengers Age of Ultron, Mark Ruffalo said that the Hulk is just as afraid of Bruce Banner as Bruce Banner is of the Hulk. I'm not expecting any kind of cerebral Hulk anytime soon, but we might get a tease of smart Hulk in Thor Ragnarok. If you haven't read the comics, that's just Banner as the Hulk with his Banner mind. His mind doesn't devolve into like the primal Hulk mind. He gets to be a genius that's almost indestructible. Now that's not what Lash is, but it's very similar. Like, what is Andrew's mind like when he is in Lash mode? My guess is that it's a different personality, and the, like the two different personalities inside of him are going to be battling it out. But on to number three, Mockingbird is back in action, finally off the bench. May, May has to like slap her around a little bit. Obviously, she thought that Andrew was dead, so that's why she's on the warpath. But this is like getting Mockingbird closer and closer to her spinoff TV series. Bobby is one of the most interesting characters that they have in their stable. Adrian Palicki, on top of that, is one of the best actresses they have on the show. But they have way too many cast members on the show. They need to kill like half of their cast off just so they can spend more time developing a few characters rather than spending a little bit of time developing a ton of characters. So here's what I propose. Before the mid-season finale, let Lash kill like half of the people that are on the show right now. You guys let me know in the comments though, like do you feel like there are too many characters for them to do justice on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now? And the problem with Bobby is, is that Adrian Palicki can lead her own show. She's like May and Daisy put together. So she's better than like both of those characters. So why do you need May and Daisy if you have someone that's better than both? Well, the show is built on Daisy. She's an inhuman. So naturally you have to get rid of Bobby. So Bobby is going to go on the spinoff. On to number two though, Coulson and Rosalind are now like the new most compelling relationship on TV. 
they're like the best part of the show that does not involve action. And there is a little bit of action, like Coulson with his laser finger the other week. When they went to her apartment, which I do think is her apartment, like the, the whole idea is that she's being truthful with Coulson and Coulson isn't trusting her. You got my favorite food. You have a bunch of my favorite stuff all over the place. WTF, are you trying to win me over? But the idea is, is that Rosalind likes all those things, like they're too similar. So they use the set design and the narrative to tell you that she is a good character. She is trying to help, despite the fact that her casing up in humans looks like something from a horror movie, as Coulson says. And finally, on to my number one WTF moment. Powers Booth is Gideon Malik, the Hydra person that everyone else is afraid of. So I'll just start by saying, if you have not watched Deadwood, watch Deadwood. He is awesome on that TV show. Now the character he's playing isn't somebody from the comics, it's an original creation of the show, but think of him as another head of Hydra. Cut off one, two take its place. There, there's always going to be more heads of Hydra. Right now Ward thinks of himself as another head of Hydra. Baron Zemos, a big one that we're going to see during Captain America Civil War. And I would say that some of this Hydra stuff will tie in with Captain America Civil War. I think it will a little bit. But if you remember the crossover with Avengers Age of Ultron, that was actually pretty disappointing last year. You could barely call that a crossover. But they did promise the TV show would cross over with the movies more, even with Thor Ragnarok. And I know a lot of people believe that this planet here is the sentient planet Ego. I'll totally buy that for now. We, we don't have any evidence that says otherwise. But Ego the planet is just from the Thor comics. That, that's how you could tie it to Thor Ragnarok. Now the idea of a sentient planet is pretty far out there, but if Marvel can do a talking tree, then it can totally do a sentient planet. And Joss Whedon's brother, Jed Whedon, is one of the showrunners. Like J Joss Whedon isn't super involved with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but the way Joss Whedon describes his brother is just in the most affectionately weird way. He's like, he's just so weird. Jed is so weird. So what's like the weirdest thing you could do on a TV show? It would be doing a sentient planet. I, I really like that idea. Let me know in the comments though, do you want to see Lash kill off like half of the cast and do you think that this is the sentient planet Ego from the Thor comics? What I'm hoping is is that they resolve both of those questions by the mid-season finale so they can move on to more Captain America Civil War type stuff in the second half of the season. Everybody just start pounding their discs. We want secret warriors. We were promised an Inhumans team. Seriously though, I do think that we will see an Inhumans team up before the end of the season, but maybe not before the mid-season finale. Lots of cool stuff coming. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is getting a little bit more interesting with the season. There, there are a couple storylines that I'm not a super big fan of, but I feel like it's getting better with each episode. And it's a lot better than last season and way, way better than season one. So what's happening tonight is I'm seeing Spectre. I'm also planning on posting a Supergirl video. My Spectre review probably won't post till Friday, but I'll, I'll do like a non-spoilery portion in case you don't see it right away. But the other really big thing is that BlizzCon is this weekend. Even if you don't play Warcraft anymore, they're dropping the full trailer for the movie on Friday. So I'm totally going to do a video for that too. Lots of crazy stuff happening. I'll, I'll just be like sitting at my computer 24-7 watching the BlizzCon feed. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for the Arrow Constantine video from last night. And you can click here to watch the Jessica Jones trailer. That's actually coming at the end of the month and I'll totally be doing videos for it. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.